So, hi dear Cancer, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the 25th of Feb for those who are in connection or related to someone on and off attachment or whatever you feel like. It's not for complete singles. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. It's in simple plain English language with lifetime access and certification. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook again it's super easy to understand loaded with a lot of information and it's super affordable too so let's start by the word it's valid for every 12 sign it means if you're dealing with another cancer this is valid for you so you can take it your person as cancer and you like your energies as yourself right so let's start your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment ah let's see cancer what's happening We have the nine of wands. Someone is kind of giving up hope on this person, on this situation, sorry, on this reconciliation coming together or coming back together. Might be a third party situation is in the play right now. But whatever, whosoever it is, even though this person is feeling like giving up completely on the situation, there's still kind of hope. There's still some kind of hope in this person's energies towards you. Let's clarify the nine of wands. We have the tower, nine of swords and this person feels like uh, they should not be rushing towards you. They are suddenly getting the realization that nothing is going to work out if they are going to go crazy over you. So this person is in fact feeling like they should keep you blocked if you guys are, have blocked each other or they should block this urge of rushing towards you for some reason. They feel like this is not the right time or right uh, situation or right energies or whatever whatever it is this person is definitely blocking this urge of rushing towards you but suddenly they're realizing that they should give this situation a last tough fight i don't know when i don't know uh, how but this definitely this person is definitely having this sudden realization of this is not completely over even if it is in the physical even if it is in the physical world they definitely feel like keeping you blocked or keeping themselves blocked from this energies of rushing towards you for some reason but they definitely feel like one last chance should be given to the situation oh my god it's so confusing right confusing let's see what this part let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side cancer let's see what's happening you feel like running away from the situation as far as you can and never looking back because it's too stressful to deal with you it's it's something that's uh, giving you a lot of stressful energies you can't stop thinking about it you just want to be practical about it and you just want to run away you feel like running away from the situation as far as you can because you can't deal with it <laughs> let's clarify the net of swords it's fucking up your mind like crazy okay we got it we have the two of pentacles the ten of cups and the okay so you feel very very practical okay wow you feel like you're pretty sure pretty clear that you you should have a happily ever after kind of energy someone who's going to stand by your side you should not be in any kind of connection or situation that's giving you on and off in and out uh confusion kind of energy so you feel like running away from all the confusions and you feel like heading towards something or someone that's going to give you the happily ever after kind of dynamic that you are really looking for from a very very long time so you feel like running away from the confusion not the person not the situation might be you are going to still uh, uh, like uh, be attached to that particular person or situation that you are trying to run away from you're actually trying to run away from the confusion not the person but I think you feel like you should just run away from the person also right now because they're giving you a lot of uh, anxiety, a lot of on and off, in and out, on and off, on and in and out. Nothing is making sense here. So you're like, okay, let me run. Let Well, you feel like running away from the confusion and getting this uh, energy of, I know what I want, so let me just run away. I hope I'm making sense to you <laughs> because sometimes I don't make any sense to myself when I do the readings and the client and the other person is like, wow, Angel, it was uh, superb, okay let's see what this person wants from you what are the okay i have to i have to just reshuffle let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation between you and them cancer
lovers lovers i think they have a choice in love because there was three of cups at the bottom of the deck when we started the reading and it's the lovers now let me clarify the lovers in order to get the clear picture honey don't say anything stupid before i clarify it wow they don't want to tell you that they have somebody else also by their side cancer i'm going to be very honest with you guys it could be very much possible that this person is having their eye on somebody else also and they want to make things work out between them and somebody else but they want to show you that they are with you as well what they want to make a choice between you and somebody else that they are quite serious about but they want to show you that they are not with anybody else and they don't care about anybody else but uh and they might create some kind of situation where you are going to leave them they are not going to do anything you are going to leave them see this is a very specific reading today but they don't want you to know that there is something else sorry someone else on the on the mix that they have their eyes on and they're quite sure about that other energy other person that with them they are going to be successful and they definitely want they don't want you to know this this person is cheating on you this person if they are sleeping with you eating with you doing everything with you and giving you mixed signals run away cancer just run away as far as you can and never look back because they have their eyes on someone else big 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 time and they're pretty sure that they are going to make this work out between them and someone else period i'm not going to lie to you honey i don't i never lie to anybody just to make things work out or just to make them happy they want to have they, they want to like end this connection slowly but surely if not already or they are going to make the situation so worse that you are going to end it from your side see this person wants to leave the situation and move ahead sorry to say that cancer i am sorry to say that now this uh, feelings uh, thing is uh, making sense to me why they want to keep you blocked why they don't want to rush towards you because they are not sure about you if it is not going to work out with this person that they are ha having their eyes on then they want to come back towards you what the fuck is wrong with this person just slap them on their face and never look that back if this is the situation and if you are going to find out this person is cheating on you or manipulating you or doing something wrong with you do not i repeat do not entertain this person ever in your life and never 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 look back block them straight away not based on my reading only just do your research do your search do you do your research do everything that you can found to find out the truth and never look back i'm not saying to be revengeful or this or that nothing just have to silently move on keep your head high because you are not doing anything wrong if this is not you if you are this bitch i'm sorry to say you are bitch let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation cancer wow this reading really opened my eyes for some reason i am feeling like i got my eyes like open towards something or someone you just want to remain courageous and uh, strength like you just want you just want to remain courageous and be in your power and you just want to focus on your money job your career your stability your energy if i know what i'm doing i know what i want so i'm just going to keep my head high and do let this i think most of you cancer knows that you are an option but you are just trying to see what this person is going to do next Let's clarify the strength card for you guys. We have the ten of swords. <laughs> you want to end this chapter with this person. You are pretty sure that sooner or later you are going to end this uh, chapter with this person. You are going to keep them as a friend, or you are going to keep this person at a distance. You know that this is bound to end sooner or later in your life, okay? And you are pretty sure that. Wow, cancer. This is tit for tat. It's going to take you a lot of courage and strength to end this chapter completely and to keep this person at a distance. But this is what you want. Wow! For some reason, you are pretty sure, pretty clear in your energies, Anjali. I know what the hell is going on behind my back. I'm a Cancer. I know kind of everything intuitively when it comes to love and emotions. I just want to keep this person at a distance. I want to see what this person is going to do. So I just want to. like uh, make this person come to me or keep this person in my energies till i get the whole truth out of the situation you just want to give them the benefit of doubt i think very good 
Let's see what's coming towards you till the 25th of Feb. Cancer. Oh, oh. What is wrong with this? Yeah, camera today. This is just like our, your feelings today. <laughs> Let's see. Queen of Cups. Okay, self-love, self-care, self-healing and this energy of not saying or not doing anything. I think let's clarify the Queen of Cup, Cups. Cups. <laughs> you are just going to keep yourself silent. Uh, it could be possible, Cancer, that you will start dealing with another energy and you're going to keep yourself silent about the energy that you're dealing with so silently slowly but surely you are going to connect with another energy or some kind of another energy is going to enter in your life that you will start entertaining but at the same time you are going to be in this energy of let me see the person that who is fucking around with you or for messing around with you let me see what they're going to do you're not going to react much you are not going to say much you're not going to do much you are just going to be in your own energies you're going to be silent and you, you are going to silently watch the drama watch the film let me grab the popcorns and let me watch it with you. <laughs> it's because it's an interesting plot. It's an interesting plot twist. Because you know, intuitively you know what is going on behind your back. But you are going to just wait and watch. And meanwhile, I do see a new energy, a new connection, a new person entering in your life. That you will be entertaining. That you will be having fun with. Like healthy flirting, healthy fun and nothing more than that I think. But you will be entertaining this new energy as well. And it's going to be quite good for you you are going to be like although you are going to be stuck on that past person past energy that's kind of playing around with you you will be entertaining new people new energies as well and one in particular is going to stand out for you guys very good let's see the guidance for you guys Pis uh, cancer might be you're dealing with the pisces <laughs> who knows okay so the guidance here is be patient with yourself if you are stuck, if you are confused, if you are on the crossroads, not able to make up your mind, not able to make any kind of life-changing decisions or choices or anything, just be patient with yourself, be patient with the timing, be patient with everything and everyone around you. Just take your time, honey. Take your time. If you know everything is messy and you are still giving it a benefit of doubt or something, just, just try to get out of this drama as soon as possible and try to move on and start your new life with a clean, fresh slate, okay? Don't uh, get stuck on this particular person or situation like, okay, if they're going to take six months, seven months or a year or so to finish this game, whatever they're playing, it's going to ruin your time or, and your energies only. So just play this game till the time you feel like, okay, it's okay to play. Then when you feel like you, you are draining your energies, you are wasting your time, I think you should just like get, get out of the situation. You don't have to give any explanation to them. They know, you know. So, okay. <laughs> So thank you so much for tuning in cancer. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.